Josh and John in the firing convention. What's up? And uh, 350 Legend, right? And that's that's it. what we got today, guys. We have a 350 Legend with us. And uh, we're going to do some destructive testing. I got to give a big shout out to uh, Aaron Christ of Moss Tech. He, uh, he was awesome and gave us this barrel to test up. You know, in video one, I kind of went over this barrel, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of the barrel right now. But um, quick rundown, he made this barrel from a blank, and all we're going to, it's got a carbine gas system. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down one inch at a time, down to about seven inches. And then from there, we're going to read velocity both times, uh, twice, once with a magneto speed, once with my uh, chronograph sitting out there. And they're within 10 feet per second of each other. And I have a feeling that's because we're reading muzzle here and we're reading uh, about 10 feet from the muzzle out there. So without too much further ado, we're going to get the first five shots off with a 25 inch barrel. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you also, we're, we're doing a little thing on 350 Legend Group, okay, where someone's going to win a cup. <clears throat> pardon me. And you're going to have to pardon my voice today. I've, I'm almost lost it. Um, somebody's going to win a cup based on their predictions of when this thing's going to stop cycling. It's going to be three inches from the, from the gas block, two inches, an inch at the gas block. Yeah, so we're going to cut it on these little grooves right here, okay? So get a close-up on them grooves. We're going to cut it on these grooves. These are all an inch apart. And if it, if it stops cycling right here at this groove, whoever calls this groove, and it's in inches, so that'd be three inches, and gets the velocity closest, is going to win a 350 Legend Cup that I got from Winchester. And, you know, we'll get them some, some material out from Winchester as well. So, guys, like I said, we're not too much further ado. We're just going to get on there and get playing with this guy and uh, see what we can do. It's going to be painful to chop down a brand new barrel from Aaron. <laughs> but, I mean, that's what we were that's what we were said we were going to do, and we're going to get it done, even though it's going to pain me right here <laughs> to do that. All right, guys. So, we'll get on it. All right, guys. Real quick before before I get to shooting this group, I forgot to tell you something first off. One, Aaron also sent this ammunition from, you know, Mostek. He, he also sent the ammunition. And what we're shooting today is Winchester's 147 grain ammunition. This is supposed to come out of the barrel of a 16-inch barrel at 2,250 feet per second, guys. And that's a 16-inch barrel, 2,250. Now, I want to tell you about the P-Mag as well. This is not... A CMMG magazine as you can see this is not a 350 specific magazine um, you can see on there it says 556 by 45 but what I've done is this is a generation 1 magazine so they didn't have anti-tilt followers but I cut the ribs out there's two little ribs that run right there I cut them out with my Sawzall and and just you know the little Sawzall just took it right out and I put in a anti-tilt follower and this thing, it's a 20 round magazine, but I can get about seven or eight mag rounds in it before it before it wants to go wonky. And we're going to shoot five shots per tw per inch barrel. And I apologize, guys, it's going to be a long video, but this is what everybody wants to see. So we'll uh, we'll get on it. So I'm going to get on it right now. And also, this is a uh, just a standard 5.56 five, bulk carrier group. That was another question a lot of people had was it does a regular bulk carrier group work you know or do we need a 350 legend carrier no it's well you turn just as i said it was going to work fine of course hold on all right now i got the magazine seated all the way it's going to work right <laughs> also for you guys that are that are you know the atf nazis if you notice we're shooting off an sba3 today because we are going to be blowing below 16 inches so everything is is a okay as far as legalities. So there it is. All right, now I'm gonna get my pen and paper over here, and we're gonna burn them off. And I'll call them out as they go. Twenty three sixty nine. Twenty three fifty two. Twenty-four oh three. Twenty-four 
2408. Now, as you can see, bolt lock back, everything's golden, and she cycles perfect. So we're going to lop this barrel off, get down 24 inches. Well, we figured we'd show you that we're actually cutting this thing down, and this is absolutely <laughs> horrible, but here we go, guys. Oop, 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 oop. There it is. Oh man, that hurt my that hurt my feelings. It's gonna be a little hot, but yeah. But there it is. There's the first there's inch the initial off. section completely gone, guys. That's man, that stung a lot. <laughs> All right, let's set up the magneto speed. Yeah, we'll, we'll set up magneto speed and we'll be back. One, two. All right, guys, 24 inches, and we're getting ready to do another five shots here. So we're going to be at. 2374 2384 Okay. So we're going to average these out at the end of the video, you know, and uh <clears throat> pardon me. We'll average these out at the end of the video and I'll I'll write the average out and I'll let y'all know what they are, you know, going down the list. But uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Let's get this cut down to 23 inches. All right, down to 23 inches. Let's get five off. 2377. Twenty-four thirteen. Twenty-four twelve. Twenty-three sixty-four. Twenty-three fifty-six. So there we are. If you notice, guys, we're not really losing a whole lot of anything. In fact, I think we're speeding up a little bit. You know, we've cut off two inches of barrel, and I think we're we're at that length where we just don't have you know enough powder to get this thing going any faster. So it's going to get interesting once we get down below 16 inches. <clears throat> Pardon me. Once we get down below 16 inches, so let's get another inch lopped off of this bad boy. One. All right, now down to 22 inches, guys. 22 inches. 53 23 15 and these two are actually starting to read pretty close now that's decent there 2362. And for you observant people that see this moving, that's because I was really dumb and got and got what I thought was a really good deal on Brownells for a charging handle, but it was stripped, so it doesn't have the freaking little latch on the side of it. But 
it works for what we're doing. I just get a left tap on the nose. <laughs> but all right, there is 22 inches down the pipe. So now we're gonna drop her off to 21. All right, guys, now we're down to 21 inches. It's starting to look like a barrel and not a musket at this point. So let's see what we got going on here. All right, first shot was 23.38. They had a technical difficulty with the uh, camera there. Sorry about that. So like I said, first shot was 23.38. This is going to be shot two with a 21-inch barrel. 23.27. Sixty-six. Twenty-three forty. If you notice, guys, I'm not taking my time to aim or aim or anything. I mean, we're cutting the barrel off with a sawzall, so I've got a group out there that I don't even know if it's the bullets are stabilizing at this point. <laughs> and twenty-three fifty-six. Okay. That's 21 inches. So we're still we're still 100, and, 100 feet per second on average higher than box velocity at 21 inches. So now we're going to cut it down to 20. All right, guys, down to 20 inches. 20 inches, and we're going to get the next five off. 2350. 236 Okay how many inches was that, that row? 20 inches. 20 inches. All right, guys. Now we're at 19 inches. It's starting to look like a regular AR and not a musket again. I said that already, but still. All right. Here we go. 23.41. 23.41. Twenty-two eighty-eight. Twenty-three twenty-seven. Twenty-three oh seven. So we're still safely above twenty-two hundred and fifty feet per second. And once again, guys, before we before we cut the next section of barrel. Uh, I just want to thank Aaron, Aaron Christie again at Moss Tech for, for making this happen. You know, he supplied the ammunition, he supplied the barrel, and we're, we're supplying the destruction for science. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we're going to get cut down to 18 inches. Okay, we're at 18 inches now, and we're going to five more of them. 2312. We got a stoppage, 2305. We got a stoppage. And it's just a failure to feed on the on the magazine's part. So I'm gonna drop the magazine, put that back in, and we're gonna let it run here. Twenty three ten. And 2309. So we've lost roughly 100 feet per second. Well, roughly 100 feet per second going from 25 inches to 18 inches. So let's get this thing cut down to 17. Okay. 
here we are we're going to be shooting the uh, the uh, 17 inch section of barrel and uh, you're going to have to pardon me as I go up and turn on my chronograph <laughs> so just bear with me here for a moment I'm going to stand up and turn that on I'm back with the regularly scheduled programming now it's going to be a 17 inch barrel 289 2279 Well, we got stoppage. What is it here? There it is. Just didn't didn't catch that round. 2225 now, I've seen some people say that there's not very good accuracy out of this ammunition. And I can surely see why. Because, I mean, that's... The extreme spreads are absolutely horrible. 22.46. And... 22.67. So, we've had a 22.25... And everything else has been 2280, 2270, 2260. And that was 17 inches. So let's get this thing cut down to 16 inches. And then we'll be going into SBR and pistol territory. Remember, we got the SIG brace so the ATF can bite one. All right, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, guys. 16 inch barrel. Brush off my freaking paper here. 2283. What was that? There you feed on the magazine there. There it is. Let's see. 2269. Well, this is my magazine not cycling here, guys. I don't know why we're starting that disaster. But, hit it again. Two seventy six. Takes you close. Twenty two sixty four. And twenty two fifty two. Okay. Now we're going to go down to fifteen inches. So we're still. We're still right above box velocity. <clears throat> Pardon me. We're still sitting right above our box velocity, uh, which is 2250. I had one 2252, uh, 2264, 2283, 2276. So all that seems to be coming pretty good. That's staying the way it should anyway, I guess. So, like I said, the, the velocity is running pretty good, and we've only lost, uh, looks like, 2350 2400 so we've only lost about a hundred and some feet per second coming down all this so let's move on right let's cut it to 15 okay down to 15 inches so this is where everybody i think is going to be really interested in what this gun does because you know we're getting down past that 20 inch mark which is where the bulk gun sits you know we've got um 18 inch barrels that are coming out from uh cac you know k-a-k uh, with the mid-length gas system and you know the Ruger American is sitting at a 16 inch barrel you know so there's a lot of guns in this range 15 inches is kind of an odd number but we're going to do it anyway because science but we're going to get down to 14 inches 13 inches is going to be an odd one but I'm thinking 12 11 and 10 <clears throat> are going to be pretty solid you know numbers I think that's where everybody's going to be interested so once again thanks Aaron at Moss Tech for making this happen, let's get on the next, the, the 15 inch stuff. 2271. Now, <clears throat> that's my magazine doing that. It's nothing to fault with Aaron at Mostec. You know, that is just, um, you know, this PMAG, 
I got more work to do on it, and it may be getting some metal shavings in it or something. I mean, let's face it, I don't have a forward assist on it. I don't have a dust cover, you know, and I'm I'm just kind of winging it because we're just we're just just destroying it. So there's no real reason to play with it. So I'm gonna actually be putting a, a CMMG barrel on this upper, and that's what we're gonna that's what it's gonna live on it. But anyway, that was shot one, shot two. 2248 2265 2265 That's a first in this ammunition. And 2235. So that's 15 inches. We're still sitting right there at that, at that magical 2250 feet per second neighborhood. So let's get her cut down to 14. All right, guys, 14 inches. We're getting down to that magic number where some people have been starting to guess as the wind is going to stop cycling. So let me tell you how I'm going to judge stop cycling, okay? I'm not talking about a bolt holdback because I'm having issues with this magazine. So when I say stop cycling, I'm going to, I'm going to play it by it didn't eject the case, it stovepiped, it didn't pick up the next round, not due to a magazine failure. So we'll take it. We'll get a close up of that when I think that we're getting close to it. Um, so I just wanted to let everybody know because, you know, I, I want everybody to know the rules of the game, right? So like I said, 14 inches and the uh, velocity at, the, at you know on the box is supposed to be 2250 with a 16 inch barrel. So let's see where we're at. We're still not quite below that 2250 mark. Guys, this is... This is turning into be a really efficient short barrel cartridge that, you know, may rival the 300 blackout when it comes down to just, you know, being a short barrel gun. I mean, this might be one of the best guns or cartridges to ever come out for the short barrel platform, especially for you guys that want to be hunting in the, in the straight wall states. You know, this could be your 300 blackout to shoot pistols. So let's get on it. Twenty-two Like I said, guys, for whatever reason, I'm not getting bolt lock on this last round. So, there it is. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, cut it to 13. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're at 13 inches. So, I think we're going to drop under 2,200 feet per second for the first time on average. All right, shot one. 2199 2151 2175 Okay. That's quick and easy, guys. She's still cycling. Everything's doing pretty good. We're going to cut it down to 12 inches. Um I can tell it's definitely starting to get more blasty as the barrel gets shorter. I mean, but that's to be expected. So far though, this barrel, this cartridge has proven to be a very efficient cartridge in a short barrel. So we'll be right back. All right, everybody. 12 inches, this is another interesting one. So this is another, uh, this is another barrel length that uh, CAC, K-A-K, -K, not to be confused with Knight's Armament Corporation, has for us. 
go out there as well. So let's see what happens. 2152. We have a magazine failure. It's rode over the rode over the cartridge. There we go. Fifty-five. So we're right at a hundred feet per second below box at this point. Yep. Okay, twenty-two hundred. Let me see where we're at here. I think we're gonna call it on this one, Johnny. I think that's going to be the end of it. I don't think uh, it's not a magazine failure. I think it's failing to feed, and that's going to be three inches from the muzzle at, and I'm going to average it out when we're done here, but it's probably going to be right at uh, 2175. 2138. Yep, she's not cycling anymore. 2189. And this is not an adjustable gas block you're running. Uh, correct. It's just a standard, just a standard gas block. You know, it's a 936 block because it's just what we got. And uh, Aaron didn't want to turn it any more than he had to because, you know, we were just going to cut the hell out of it anyway. So, you know, he just made it big and ran it. I mean... It's also a fairly small gas port. This gas port's running a standard carbine, which is what I think point zero. Oh heck, I can't even remember off the top of my head, honest to God. But uh, anyway, the gas port on this is your standard carbine gas port. You could open it up, like I said, I, and don't quote me, Aaron, I think it's point nine six or whatever three thirty seconds is. I know it's three thirty seconds, but you could open this up all the way to an eighth of an inch still. So there's no reason why it can't cycle, other than we just don't have enough gas volume at this time. There's not enough dwell time here for this small of a port. If we were to if we were able to open it up to like 0.1 or 0.1110, you know, we would still be able to cycle it. So I'm going to call it. It's no longer a semi-automatic. It is now a straight pull bolt action. Let's go ahead and get it cut down to 11 inches. All right, guys. So due to the length in front of the gas block and me being a dipstick and not bringing the freaking Allen wrench to get rid of this gas block, uh, we can't use the magneto speed anymore. So we're just going to go off the regular chronograph. This was a backup for that chronograph out there anyway. Um, we've, we, uh, I personally have tested that chronograph with 22 rim fire ammunition and it's always within, you know, 10 feet per second. So it's, it's, it's a solid chronograph. Like I said, we haven't had a misread with that one out there yet. So. We're just going to go with it. I did bring some extra ammunition in case we do have a couple errors, but uh, I don't think we will. All right, guys, down at 11 inches, 11 inches. 21.41. Yep, and we're definitely not cycling anymore. So... That one's 2154. That one is 20.79. Well, i tell you what, this Winchester white box stuff definitely, definitely isn't what I would call uh, uh, the most consistent I've ever shot. 2107. And twenty-one sixty-seven. As you can see, though, we're still ejecting brass. I mean, so it's definitely ejecting the rounds. Um, we're just not, we're just not picking it up. So, I mean, it, it's still even, even though it's two inches in front of the gas block, it's still ejecting. It just doesn't have enough power to get that cartridge back in the. Uh, in the into the chamber that could be the magazine but like i said i called it at three inches because i'm having to rack the bolt every time so 
All right, let's get her cut down to 10 inches, a 10 inches. Then we're going to cut it to 9 inches. Then the next one you see is going to be cut behind the gas block at roughly 7 inches long. So we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. Down to, <clears throat> pardon me, down to 10 inches. And let's get some velocity numbers. This is where I think we're going to see some pretty, pretty drastic numbers drop. You know, so we'll see, right? 2044. And now it's not ejecting, as you can see. Twenty fifty seven. Twenty seventy one. Twenty one oh seven. And last but not least. 2061. Okay, not much to say here. Let's cut her down to nine inches and get it done. All right, guys, nine inches. We are down to nine inches, and we're off. 2064. 2022 ouch hot 2038 And the last one, 2029. Okay, so nine inch barrel. I mean, we're still pushing a 145, 150 grain bullet in the neighborhood of 2,000 feet per second. And we're doing it comfortably. This isn't, you know, this isn't down in the 19s and dipping back into the 2000s. This is solid. I'm going to say it's going to come in right around 20, uh, I want to say 2,030, 2,035 feet per second. So, Johnny, come here and get a real bit close up real quick. I want to show everybody where we're going to lop her off next. Right here at the back end of this mark is seven inches. We measured it out, and, and uh, we're going to cut it off right here, and that's going to be our seven-inch mark. That's going to be about as short as your standard 300 blackout. I mean, there are some that go shorter, but... We're going to stop at seven inches because it's getting pretty hard to cut. So anyway, guys, we'll be right back and we'll get the final velocity readings. We'll be good to go. See you. All right, guys. There it is. <laughs> we have cut it down to seven inches. We have seven inches left. And I mean, there she is. Seven inch barrel. That's all we got, right? So here we're going to shoot the last five. And um, basically, th I mean, this barrel isn't much longer than most of your good revolvers. So we're going to see how this would do as an actual pistol cartridge. And 7 inches is normally where the 300 blackout kind of goes wonky and it really loses a lot of velocity. So remember, from a 16-inch barrel is where we started off. We have cut that down by more than 50%. I think if you want to do the quick numbers, I think it's more like 60%. But uh, anyway... We're going to get these last five shot off, and we'll read them out. Eight, 18.95. I felt that. It's definitely way more blasty than the uh, than before. I mean, it is. There's a concussion. 19.18. Now, I told Johnny when we first started that I was really hoping that we stayed above 1,900 feet per second. 
1918. That's three. And then four. 1922, and then five is eight, <clears throat> 1874. So I think we're going to be right at that 1900 feet per second mark. I think we're going to be right at that 1900 feet per second mark with a 145 grain bullet. That means that uh, this little guy is just as efficient as a 300 blackout when it comes to short barrels, guys. I mean, you're not losing but 250 feet per second, roughly, you know, by cutting the barrel 60%. So I'm going to have to say stay tuned with this little barrel stub. I think I'm going to build something out of it because I just don't think I can get rid of it. It is one of those. I've never cut a barrel like this before, so I don't think I can get rid of this little keepsake. But anyway, guys, like I said before, I want to thank it. I want to thank Aaron again at Moss Tech, you know, for supplying the barrel, and the ammunition, and giving us the ability to go out there and just chop a barrel up. And yeah, because we're not we're not supported by anybody, you know, unless we get something like that in. We don't we don't make money off of this, and we have day jobs and all that fun stuff. So, you know, once again, we really appreciate Moss Tech. You know, look forward to his stuff coming out soon. He's got a website that he's building up, and he's going to be doing uh, barrels for AR-15s and a 350 Legend. He's going to be doing barrels for Savages, Remington 700s for the uh, 350 Legend, and also, um, well, heck, I just forgot what I was going to say. I just forgot what I was going to say. I remembered what it was. Sorry about that. I had to pause the video because I had a really big brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's he's going to be doing barrels in three uh, 357 diameter, which this one was, one in 16 twist. He's going to be doing barrels in 355 diameter with a one in 10 twist. And uh, he think he can do a 16 and a 20. Also, I uh, look forward to Aaron coming out with the 358 AR, uh, 358 Legend. Uh, that's just kind of what I'm calling it until we get a uh, actual name for it lined up or what he ever tells me what it's going to be. Um, but basically this is a 355 bullet as of right now. You really can't load 358s in it. So what we're going to do is I've been working with Aaron and I think we've got a, a chamber pretty much hammered out to where you'll be able to shoot anything from a 355 to a 358 through this piece of brass and have a really efficient cartridge and a fairly small package. I mean, that is the epitome of awesome right there. That's a tiny little gun to go out and do some Ohio deer hunting with, some Wisconsin deer hunting with. I mean, I don't know what this weighs, but I know the optics sitting on top of it is probably 25%. So, guys, I want to thank everybody again for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'd love to be able to do this again with different ammunition when that comes out. We have Hornady showing up. We have... Federal coming out. We have different Winchester ammunition coming out. So if, if we get some pretty good requests on this, get some decent followers, we might be able to get somebody to cook us up another barrel or be able to you know, pay for another barrel even, you know. And then we can play this game again with uh, different ammunition and bring you guys exactly what you want to see, which is velocity by the inch on this new cartridge. So y'all have a good one, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, now that we're back, everything's taken care of. I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown so you could see the numbers. You know, that way you didn't have to worry about uh, looking at them, trying to figure them out on the, on the computer. So there they are, nice and slow so you can get them all. All right, guys, that'll do it for the video. Like I said, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Share, join us on 350 Legend Group, join us on the Firearm Convention, and we will see you next time.